Hey, welcome back. I'm Jay. This is the Heads Up Show. Today we're doing a quick install. We're going to be putting the Zero G visor into this Arizona helmet. And we're going to show you how easy it is to put in the new Shock Zero G visor into this. I've got a clear one here on our website. As of the time that we recorded this, we have clear, we have Smoke 40, and we have Spectrum, uh, which is Shock's version kind of of the Oakley Prism visors available for sale coming up here pretty soon. If you do not see that they're in stock, the one that you're looking for, you can go ahead and put your email address or your cell phone number in there and you will be alerted as soon as they go into inventory. And in the future, we're gonna be having more colors, clear mirror and uh, chrome mirror are gonna be the first or the next two after these original three. And then from there, we're gonna have a bunch of colors coming in from shock. So let's get right into this one here. And one nice thing about this, helmet or this visor is that it is designed specifically for the speed flex. We've already gotten a lot of questions, people asking us, hey, will this fit my shut helmet? Will this fit my Riddell speed helmet? Will this fit my Vices helmet? The answer to all of those questions is no, it's designed specifically for this, the zero G, the G in this stands for gap. It's gonna have no gap up here. There were a lot of complaints about other visors that there was a big gap between the face mask and the visor. This one's gonna have almost no gap and I'm gonna show you that. And you will be able to get this guy in nice and easy. So first thing you got to do, we're using the new Shock Viper quick release clips here. These need to go on the helmet first. This is going on a SF2EG2 face mask, pretty popular. And I'm going to be putting them on the same bar as if uh, you had the single wire version of this mask. Show you how easy to put, put the, guy, the visor in here. You just kind of pinch it a little bit here and you just slide it right up in, and you do have to kind of guide it a little bit to make sure it gets through the face mask and the helmet, and then it's just as easy as lining up the holes. So we're gonna line up these holes here. I've removed the face, or excuse me, I've removed the chin strap from this helmet, just cause it kind of can get in the way sometimes, but the chin strap, you just wanna kind of move it out of the way. So once we get the hole lined up, to find the thread, get it going, and you can just hand tighten them down. But you can use the Riddell quick release tool to tighten these down if you so choose. I like to just pull this forward a little bit before we get them fully tightened. And there you have it, and it comes out just as easy. Here we go. Really most of the time here is just tighten these guys down. So there, that's it. So we'll get some close-ups here. Let's see, right there. These will also work with any other clip out there. So if you have the Under Armour branded or unbranded clips, those will work, Nike clips, Oakley clips, all that is just a hole in the visor. They will work with everything. Uh, price on these, I think we're gonna, the clears are gonna be $50 MSRP, up to almost $80 for the Spectrum options. And there's a couple of prices in between there. And then we're gonna have sales on these sometimes. So look out for sales for sure to get that price down a little bit. This is designed to fit the face mask for the Speed Flex helmet. The face mask for the youth and the adult helmets are the same face mask. So this will fit any of the Speed Flex face mask, at least any of the non-custom styles. There might be a custom style here or there that we haven't tried this in yet that it could give you some concerns. Usually when that happens, it's always about clip placement compared to where the bars on the face masks are, uh, and if the clips can't be made to fit because there's a bar in the way, typically a zip tie is your only solution there. Uh, and that's, most most visors have their holes in the same place. So when there's a bar in the way, it kind of affects all visors, not just one over another. But youth or adult, this is the visor for the Speed Flex if you've got the Speed Flex. Leave your feedback below. Let us know if you're excited about this thing. Uh, like, subscribe, click the notification bell. Until next time, cheers.